Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle the drop downs in the Selenium. So, let's begin. So, we will try to understand what are drop downs and then we will see how we can automate the functionality of the drop down. For that, just go here on the browser and type Internet Heroku app and search for this one. So this is the link, the internetherokoapp.com. This is a site from where you can do the practice as well. And it contains a different web elements, different functionalities are available. So you can use this site for the practice. Right now, we are working with the dropdown. So let's click on dropdown here. So dropdowns are those element which contains the multiple values and from multiple values you can select only one value at a time so either you can select here option one or option two so there is only one option you can select furthermore what we need to do is that we need to inspect this one and let's see what it is so if you go here so this should be a select here if this is not a select tag then we will be using some other way to automate this kind of a functionality so this is a select option right now open another tab here and search selenium select class and we will be navigating to the official documentation of selenium here let's scroll down a bit yes so class select and this one is the class so let me open this one so this is a class okay and this is how you can use the select and under select you need to pass the web element and there are so many methods available for example deselect all if you want to deselect deselect by index deselect by value deselect by visible text similarly you can select by index select by value and select by visible text so let's discuss these three methods first and understand. So select by index means if I go here onto the application, here you can see that we have for multiple options like option one and option two, right? So index always start from zero. So it should be zero, one, and two, right? So if zero, one, and two that's how indexing works secondly the second option is basically regarding towards the select by value how we will get this value let me go back here and let me explore this one a bit so you can see that value we have an attribute called value and value equals to one and value equals to two so we can use these attributes to work around with these drop down options and third is very obvious here which is basically regarding to the visible text so if i go here again so the visible text here is option one and option two now let's uh, try to automate this functionality and we will see how it works so let me go to the eclipse here and let me create one class here and uh, let me go to the automation scripts and here go to the new go to the class here and let me name it as automate drop down okay like the main method check here click on finish and I would be copying some URLs from here, some code from here, and let me paste it here. This is the code, basic code which we need here, and we need to go to this website first. So let me copy the direct URL from here, and let me paste it here. Right? Save this one, and let me run this one and see if this particular URL is being opened or not. So it opened the browser and it's navigating to this particular URL which contains the drop down functionality. So it's loading right now. So it opened the page successfully which contains the 
drop down right now what we need to do is that we need to find this drop down right so let me go here and if i see this particular select option it contains a id so id is the fastest locator so that's why we would be using this one so let me go back here and here what we need to do is that we cannot directly go here and type driver dot find element we cannot do that because select is a class we need to create an object and as we saw in the documentation we need to, to pass the value to the constructor so let me create the object select as object obj i'm naming it as a obj and equals to new then select and now terminate this one so first we need to import this one and after importing it is still showing some error because we need to add an argument to match this select web element thing here so if i go back here and go to the official documentation so here you can see that this is a constructor and under the constructor we need to pass the web element right so let me go back here and here we need to find driver dot find element by dot id and let me go here and let me open the application so the id is drop down let me copy this one from here and paste it here that's it now we have created, successfully created the object of the select class now we can access the methods available so in order to access you need to provide the name of object dot then we have these all methods available here so let me go with the first method select by index and let me select the first index okay and let me save this one and see which option it's gonna select now so let me run this one and see what happens loading right now and once it will be loaded it will select option from the drop down so you see that it selected option one here by default it was please select option so it's selection option one now go back here as we discussed it was indexing so 0 1 2 so let me change the index to 2 here save this one let me close this one here and let's run this again and see what happens now now the second option which is present on the index 2 will be selected which is option 2 in this example so you can see that option 2 is selected now let me go back here and let me comment this one for a while and let me go for the second option here obj dot select by value right and we need to provide the string value here and if i go back to the html so you can see that option one has a value one and option two has a value two so i am setting the value to 2 here so that option 2 should get selected so let's run this one and see what happens here so now it should select the option 2 directly so it's loading right now Need to wait yeah so this has selected the option 2 successfully let me close this one from here and this one from here and now the third thing is is regarding towards the visible text so obj dot select the element by visible text again this is a string here and we need to provide the string so let me go to the browser here and the visible text is one option one right so this is a text here 
let me copy from here and let me go back here and let me provide this one and let me save this one now let's run this one and see what happens now it should select option one from the drop down values so you can see that it has successfully selected the option one now what else we can do around these options so one of the very common thing is that you you want to count the number of options available in the drop down right so how you can do that so let me put a comment here count number of options available in drop down this is what we need to do now as we have more than one element so we can save this using the list here so list web element okay. and let me name it as drop down values count and equals to now obj dot so after dot you can see that we can have an option called get get options and you can see the type is list here and let me select this one now once we are done with this one what we need to do is that we need to import the list and the web element so let me import the web element now let me import the list as well so now using this drop down values count i can get the count of this particular drop down so let me print it out using system dot out dot print ln and here under the print ln what i need to do is that i can use this one copy let me paste it here dot and here you will find a method called size so this is a method here and again it's a list return type and it has the number of elements in the list so we have already created a list above here so this is a list here and now this size will get the size of this particular list so let me do that and uh, let me bring in this one and that's it now let's run this one and see what happens furthermore you can also do that you can also loop through the values and you can assert the values as per your requirement for example if you want to assert that your drop down should contain option one then you can loop through the values and you can assert the value as well so let me go back to the eclipse here and here in the console it says three and uh, the question is that why it shows three because uh, the reason is that it also counts this please like an option label as well that's why it counted as a three similarly when we were using the index so it was counting please select an option as a zero index then this is a one index and that was the second index thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel we hope that you have learned something today once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial